Ta-da! 12 arrows cut to the exact length of my old arrow. So, that's why I like to triple check everything to make sure that it comes out pretty much exactly the way is this arrow is built. I mean, if it's 32nd of an inch off inside this little insert, I don't think it makes the hugest deal, but if you want the most accurate setup, you want to make sure every arrow is cut the same, weigh pretty much close to the same, and uh, tune the same, so. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a, see this end? Just gonna take a silver Sharpie and then just make a little ring on both sides so that when I square it, I make sure it's getting an even sanding around the whole arrow because if this part you can cut them perfect but if you're kind of putting a little angle on these and your knock and insert going crooked the arrow flight is horrible all that work that you put into building these arrows all the money that you spent all the time that you spent you know building these arrows Making sure you're shooting bullet holes for that last process to be a little slacked off or eh, it's all right, It'll be good enough. It's gonna pay downrange, especially in those longer shots. I mean, I think shooting super far is fun. I mean, with the bow, anything past 50, 60, 70 yards, that's really far. So if you're pushing out to like a hundred, I think my new sight tape on my Montana Black Gold can get up to like 120. I'm, I'm if I, I mean if I do everything right, tune it, make a bullet hole, you know, cut the arrows, perfect. Form is good. Shooting out to those hundred, 120 yards. Should be fun. As far as I've shot so far, it was a hundred. And I grouped not bad, I mean my first time, and those arrows that I was, was shooting was definitely not tuned. I was shooting some cheap arrows at the time. So, imagine what I could do with some, some better arrows than a professional archer. I wish, but yeah, pretty much almost done. It's a little time consuming, but I love doing this stuff. Tinkering around with certain setups, trying new things. It's a little expensive, but I mean, nothing in life is cheap, so. Mine so do what you enjoy. Yep. Coloring each end. Make sure that I'm sanding them evenly. And there we go. Next step, I got to square the ends. And uh, building process still continues. <laughs>